turn on the laptop with this button right up here at the top left. On your desktop, there is a folder called VR Sync. Open that with a double click. Inside that folder, there is an exe file for VR Sync. Double click that. So we'll double click on the play button and it brings up the VR Sync remote. So this is your remote control that is controlling the headsets. Next, you want to take the headset and turn it on and do this before you hand it off to anyone. You will also need to be sure and keep the controller with the right headset. So you can see that I have written the last digits of the device serial number, which can be found under the strap. So on each one of them, I wrote it in big letters because you can't read the little letters and put the same number on the controller so they stay together. Also, for people who wear glasses, be sure that you use the one that's marked for glasses because it's got an extender inside to keep the, their glasses from scraping against the lenses of the device because once you ruin those lenses, the whole headset is done. I wish I could show you how it looks in the screen, but I can't. So you put on the device, you will see a screen that says enter VR. You point your controller forward and then there's a little button right there with a circle on it. You hold that down then go to library down at the bottom. And then you'll see on the left hand side, it'll say my apps and unknown sources, click unknown sources. And then you'll see some things listed there under unknown sources, pick VR sync. And each time you're hitting with the trigger. So now you should see a head with a headset on in front of you, just a drawing of that and it's entering the VR program. So it's talking to the mothership, which is your little laptop, and letting it know that it's getting ready. Right after they see the drawing of the head with the headset on, then they will see a Milky Way and our logo over the top of it. They should not need to have the controller at all, and there's a lot of buttons that can get them all messed up and out of the scene. So once you get it set to the Milky Way with the logo on top, you can just set the headset down and it will be ready for the next person to put on, and then you will do the play from the laptop. So they shouldn't have to touch anything. Be sure that they know not to touch the on off button right here, the one in the middle, because it's gonna turn the thing off and sometimes people get their hands all over the headset when they're trying to put it on and trying to get their straps adjusted. The up and down volume for um, volume control over here, they can use that to increase or decrease the volume or they can also use it to uh, select. So it's just like using the trigger, which is right here on the controller but um, they shouldn't need to because you're gonna be doing all of the controlling. Once you get each of the headsets to the screen where it's got the Milky Way Galaxy and our logo all set, then you just set the headsets down and get ready to push the play button here. So each person would then take their headset and put it on and then you, when the, you ask them, can you see the Milky Way? Can you see the logo? When they tell you yes, then you will know that they're connected and it will say how many active connections you have, how many headsets are connected. You should have one set up for each one that you see. And if you're not seeing that, then they need to put the headset on, move around a little bit, see if they can wake it up. If they can't wake it up, then you might want to use the controller and push either the trigger one time or this one time to take you back to that screen. But then for the actual play, you just go up here and push and all of your videos will be listed here. We have five different videos set up, even though there's eight slots, we only have five in there right now. And you would just push start. So you can see down here, it's in motion. I've set this headset down. So you heard it just come back on. And if I put it on, 
it picks up right where everybody else is. You can change, you can uh, stop one that's playing and you can go to a different one if maybe you push the wrong one or you find that they're getting bored with it. You could go to the next one and hit play and you can hear it just spoke to the headset saying, hey, you wanna see this one? And it'll just start playing on the headset. And when you're all ready to finish with that person, then take the headset, hold down the button here for about two seconds and a screen will come up that you'll see inside that asks you if you want to cancel, to restart, or to shut down. So depending on where you are in the process, if you're ready to shut down for good, you can click that. If you just want to restart for the next person, you could do that. And um, if you want to cancel because maybe you're just having issues with that headset, then of course you can choose that. And the way you choose it is by clicking the trigger on here and it's better if you do it than the customer because the customer is going to get totally lost in there. So you need to figure out how to work this, get really comfortable with it, and then that way you can help the customers through it without a lot of confusion. And that's all there is to it. So you could have one person watching one video that you're showing them or the, all five of those videos in a row if you wanted to, or you could have as many headsets as we have all watching the same thing at the same time. So that's a really easy way to get multiple people all watching the same 360 experience. And once people see these cats in 360, we are hoping that they will love that experience so much that they would prefer to see cats in virtual reality headsets than seeing them languishing in cages. So this is a huge part of our mission and I hope you will embrace it and get comfortable with it so that you can make it a fun experience for people who come to visit us. Thank you so much.